Today we are going to solve the review exercise of chapter 1. So all the questions in this exercise were already done in 1a and 1b. So here we are just taking the review of the exercise. Find the value of each of the following by using prime factorization. Here we have to take the prime factorization with the square root and here we have to take the prime factorization with cube root. So let's see the solution. Here we have to take the prime factorization of 1225. So the prime factorization of this number is 5577. It means we have 2 5 and 2 7. So the square of 1225 is 5 and 7. 5 7 is 35. Same as it is we have to take the cube root. To take the cube root first we are going to make the factors. Here we have make the prime factors. Now we have to write all the numbers here. Then we have to divide these numbers with into 3 3 groups. So here you can see 3 3 3 and we have only 3 3's. So it means we have to take 1 3 in each group. So here I have made the group. We have total 1 2 3 groups. So it means that we have to take single number from each group. So the answer is 24. Question number 2 is estimate the value of each of the following. Here we have to take the estimate with the square and with the cube. We have already done all these questions previously in the exercise 1a and 1b. Now we are just doing the review. So I am just showing you the solutions because we have already explained these exercises. Here you can see to find the estimate first we are going to make the pairs make the square so the nearest square of 63 is here you can see 64 the square of 8 and 8 so we have to take 64 as a square root and the square, square root of 64 is 8 same as it is we have to take the cube root of 345 so we are going to make the cube from these number in a square we multiply two times in cube we multiply the numbers three times if we multiply five three times the answer is 125 if we multiply six three times the answer is 216 if we multiply seven three times the answer is 347 343 343 is nearest to 345 it means we can take 343 as a cube so the cube root of 343 is 7 it means when we multiply 7 3 times the answer is 343 question number 3 is determine whether each of the following is a prime number or a composite number so here we have the solution 753 757 the last digit is odd but the sum of 753 is 15 which is divisible by 3 it means that it, it is a composite number the last digit of 757 is odd but the sum is 19 which is not divisible by 3 0 or 5 so it means it is a prime number question number 4 is the number 840 and 8316 written as a product here are the prime factorization find the greatest whole number it means HCF and find the smallest whole number it means LCM so here first we are going to write the factorization of both the numbers then we have to take common from the numbers for HCF we have to take the highest number it means we just have to take the common to square is common 3 is common and 7 is common in HCF we just write the common numbers and when we multiply all the numbers the answer is 84 second is smallest common number lowest com common number LCM 840 and 8316 in this we take all the numbers we take common numbers only one time but 
then we have to take the remaining numbers like we have 2 and 2 here so we have 3 3 5 7 11 we write all the remaining numbers as well now we multiply the numbers and we get the answer question number 5 the LCM of 612 and n is 660 find the possible value of n so here I have taken the LCM of these three numbers here now we have the possible value of n is 511 2511 2 square 511 means we have to take the possible value of n from all these numbers 511 is 55 2511 is 110 2511 with the square 165 so all these are the possible values of n question number 6 is Shirley needs to pack 108 stock of roses 81 stocks of lilies and 51, 54 stock of orchards into identical baskets so that each type of flower is equally distributed among the baskets. Here we have to find two things the largest number of the basket that can be packed, the number of each type of flowers in the basket. So let's see the solution. Here we have the solution the prime factor of 108, 81. 54 is now after taking the prime factors we have to find the HCF of all these numbers so the common number between all of them is 3 cube 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 and 4 so we can take cube from this so 3 cube is 27 3 multiplied 3 multiplied by 3 you can see 3 3 and 3 the answer is 27 number of stock of roses 108 divided by 27 this answer the answer is 4 number of stocks of lilies 81 divided by 27 the answer is 3 54 divided by 27 the answer is 2 question number 7 is at 5.45 p.m. Lexin, Carol and Devi are at the starting point of 1 km circular path. Lexin takes 18 minutes to walk one round. Carol needs 360 seconds to run one round. Devi cycles two rounds in 4 minutes. Find the time when all three of them will next meet. So here time taken for Carol to run. One round. One round is 360 second. 360 second means 6 minute because 1 minute of 60 second. So it means 360 divided by 60 is 6 minutes. Time taken for Devi to cycle. One round. 4 minutes divided by 2. 2. 18. The factors of 18, 6 and 2. 18 is 2, 3, 3, 2, 3 and 6. So the LCM least common number or the time where they meet is 18 minutes. After 18 minutes they can all meet together. Number 8 is Nora and Amara work in different companies. Nora has a day of 4 days. While Amara has a day off every 6 days. Nora last day off is 29th April while Amara was on 1st May. When will they next have the same day off? And subsequently how often will they have the same day off? So first one is when will they next have the same day off? So they have the same day off by counting. They will next have the same day off at 7th May. Now to find how often will they have the same day off. So to find this we have to take the factors of 4 and 6. So the factors of 
फोर एंड सिक्स मीन्स टू टू जो फोर फोर थ्री जो ट्वेल्व आफ्टर एवरी ट्वेल्व डेज सो दिस इज द कम्प्लीट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ योर रिविजन वन